Well, I've been involved in the Busby Primary um, Skills Academy in terms of what I do, which is cookery. Um, I'm a food writer and teacher, and uh, they asked me to come and help out with their Skills Academy for Food Technology, which I'm very passionate about. And it was a very easy transition because obviously I was happy to help them in any way. Um, it was really quite interesting uh, to be involved in that because I personally think that Cooking starts really early in your life. You don't start it later. You don't go to cooking classes. You should just it just come naturally to you. And I think what the great thing was to you know primary school students with the ability to understand flavor, to understand how you can make a basic thing and actually feed yourself. I think that one of the great things about opening their minds to different avenues of future careers, professions, jobs, is that, you know, even if I'm teaching cookery, you're not just opening up one single-minded thing about cookery. You're opening up their minds to interests about food technology in a general sense. It can, I write, so, you know, I mean, food writing, uh, I am broadcast as well, you know, food journalism. Um, so you're, you're opening up their minds to things like uh, nutritionists, um, recipe developers, you know, spice traders, anything. You're actually just creating open doors to different fields in not just the food industry, but tech, food tech industry as well. So there's so much you open up. Uh, so there's really no, no end to it. I think that every skill that is taught at this level will open up not just one door, but many, many doors. The skills I'm looking for is, I think, the ability to utilize their minds. I think one of the most important things is communication. Um, and whether that's spoken communication or written communication, um, but also as well to think creative. And personally, I look for people who think out the box. Enthusiasm, they've got to want to do something. And that's very important as well. I, said that I think when somebody wants to be in a workplace, they're so much more creative and they'll get the job done quicker. I teach millinery at Glasgow Kelvin College. I've been teaching millinery for 20 years. I'm now passing these skills on to young children and I was invited along to Busby Primary to enhance the children's skills, preparing them for going out into uh, work. And I was very, very impressed how quickly they picked up basic skills. The main objective that I had was to, to improve their literacy. Uh, so the filmmaking to some extent was just an excuse to actually get them to be able to think about what their story was, whatever it was, to be able to condense their thoughts and become much more focused. So rather than just running about with a camera filming whatever it was, they had to think about, okay, what, what do I actually want to say with this film? What is my message? And once they'd identified that, then condense it right down, which gives them skills in terms of actually identifying what they need to achieve and how to achieve it. I think it was a, a skill that they, they adopted very easily. Once they'd realised the benefits of doing that, it became much easier for them to achieve whatever their objective was for that particular week.